We're very lucky in that we're part of a, a, a cluster, which is an historical cluster from uh, extended schools funding of uh, one secondary school and seven primary schools. As a cluster we meet twice a term uh, and that would be just to discuss the priorities for the year for, um, and to evaluate what we've done. As cluster coordinator I see a big benefit in having one point of contact. That means I'm the person responsible for contacting outside agencies on behalf of all cluster participants, primary schools and ourselves. Say within a school um, and you have a, an ICT coordinator who is enthusiastic, is confident and who you know you can trust, well then, you know, I like to take a risk. So when we looked at this new iPad technology, um, Fanula was, was the ideal person to, let's see how, that, how this works. I started using iPads with a P4 class. I had 16 iPads between 32 children, which was a ratio of one to two. We used them as far as possible for every lesson that we could, mostly literacy. We tried to do all our writing on the iPads. It was a massive opportunity to use them with the slower learners because there was so many opportunities there for children who weren't able to do normal classroom work independently, but hand them an iPad and their reading book, give them the camera, and immediately they didn't need an adult with them to support the learning. The iPad was there to do that. For, for me, the benefits of working in a cluster, first of all, we're talking financially. Um, you know, as a small school, we really wouldn't be able to um, purchase the number of iPads that we have if it wasn't for the support of the cluster groups. Um, secondly, I think it's great that we have that whole concept of good sharing good practice among um, schools that are maybe working at the same pace as us or maybe even a step ahead of us. Through working in the cluster, I have found the biggest plus for me has been able to liaise with another ICT coordinator. And especially we're quite a large school and we've got a very large number of iPads in the school. So being able to link up with another uh, ICT coordinator and just check for my own um, reassurance that we're going in the right direction and that we're all facing the same challenges. And then we're able to share good practice and also decide where do you want to go next? Well, that is where we want to go next and then we're looking at solutions together. From a teaching point of view, the key to a child's success in school lies in how motivated the child is to work. The iPad is the biggest motivator I have ever seen in the classroom. When it comes to getting children to write, and in particularly boys to write, there is no end to how much they want to write and how they want to write it. I think we, we've been very, very lucky on our journey uh, in, in developing ICT through our school in that we have this resource called the AMA Centre. Um, they're there at a beck and call, providing you as a school, and we are going in your, in your development plan. It's just not a willy-nilly, come up and do, spin off a DVD for me. Uh, if you know what you're doing, the AMA Centre are there and they're there to help you. And it's been an absolute blessing to us. Now, I'll be honest with you. If this new technology wasn't working, we wouldn't be using it because it's too expensive to waste. Uh, and anybody who has had a, an inspection report recently, they will quote you if you're using iPads and this new technology and you don't need to be using it, and you shouldn't be using it. However, you know, in my experience as principal, what I see the changes here now in using this new technology in the past three or four years, um, I see really, really happy children. Children whose self-esteem and confidence is rising. We see wee boys who, as a rule, I look back to myself when I was young, didn't like writing too much. But when they get the chance to create stories and poems using iPads, totally changed. Well, it's a wonderful experience for them. And they're so proud. And in my room, I sit and I watch them come down to me, showing off their, their products that they've done. Um, and with, with self-esteem raised and confidence raised, then the writing and the reading is all getting better. And we can set ourselves in our own pims and our pies. Year, year on, year out, children are coming in and doing much, much better.